two days of icy weather conditions, we're finally starting to get back to a little bit of normalcy, at least on our roads. But what should you do if you experience an emergency situation during a freeze? CW 39's own Kara Willis is live now with a look at how the weather feels now and a resource that can really help you out to help you if you, especially in a bind. Kara, what's going on? Well, Sharon, I can't say we're at the point where we can not put on our big coats or our gloves. I left mine in the car, unfortunately, to make sure I could press buttons this morning, but I will say that we are getting slowly but surely back to where things should be normally. You can see the cars here along 59 across from Lakewood Church are moving along smoothly. Um, no hiccups there as far as ice on the road. It was an easy transition to get here this morning, but that doesn't mean we still don't need to prepare in the event of an emergency if we find ourselves in a bind. Now, some of you may have experienced some car troubles, maybe an accident, maybe even some burst pipes. Um, during the freezing temperatures, so it's always a good idea to prepare early for those situations. One resource for you is the American Red Cross. It's one resource that can help you if you're in need of any shelter, clean water, or even a hot meal. Also, another resource for you, the Texas Division of Emergency Management has a program called the State of Texas Emergency Assistance Registry, also known as STEER. This helps local emergency planners and emergency responders get additional information on the specific needs in their community. Now, here's who should register for this year program. If you have a disability, if you're medically fragile, have functional needs such as limited mobility or communication barriers, and people who require transportation assistance. You can register online at the website on your screen at steer.tdem.texas.gov or call 211. You can also use your video um, phone relay option of your choice. Now, registering for STEER does not guarantee a repeat, it does not guarantee just because you register that you'll receive a specific service or an emergency, but it certainly can help you get the assistance that you need. Registering for STEER is absolutely free, so I highly recommend if you know anyone who's in need of this resource or again, if you are in need of it to register before anything like this happens again, or maybe if you even need assistance right now, you can also find assistance with the Red Cross at that website on your screen at redcross.org. Back to you. All right, thank you so much and great information that people always need to know. So I appreciate it, Kara. Thank you.